Hello guys and welcome back to a new video tonight we have the brand new Hyundai Santa Fe 2024 version plug-in hybrid on test drive and in this video we will check the ambient in the in the nighttime also I will show you the ambient light I will show you the headlamps the way it works on a darker street so we can see it a little bit better and yeah of course I have on my channel one separate video where I show you all the lights exterior interior I have a video with test drive in the daytime where you can see all the information on how it's on the road the suspension comfort visibility all those information and I have a separate video with a full review interior exterior technical data and so on definitely check out those videos as well this is the key by the way also in the review video I show you how you can summon the car forward and backward from the key because you're able to take from the parking lot the car outside so you can do all of those you can do it only with the key without being inside the car anyway really nice front end I really Really love the front end even though uh, the design of the car it's kind of controversial online I have a lot of comments from you uh, I have to tell you I love the front end I think the squarish design of the front look gorgeous and with this H from Hyundai look really nice even though the back end it's a little bit controversial I still think you can get used with it the more you stay with the car the more you get used with it plus when you see it on the internet it looks a little bit strange but in real life uh, it start to be better and better I don't know uh, I find it okay for me it's nice now this is the handle with an LED light there uh, I like the quality it's just insane I mean I have nothing to comment man about quality if you can say something about the rear design when it comes to quality and technology and space and practicality I don't think you can say anything about this car 20 inch rims fit very beautiful with this gray color and this gray color with the black glossy and the tinted windows looks so nice I really like the car the ambient light on the doors here you can change also the color of the ambient light the ambient light here inserted on this chrome on the dash look really nice uh, also you have plenty of storage space here you have also some light and huge storage space huge storage space plenty of lightning inside the car in the nighttime to see uh, what's happening you can see in the back there as well and also here in the front here is the start stop engine button and right now you can see the ambient in lights inside here also the car come with double glass that's great because you have very good insulation inside and I talk about that in the test drive on the daytime so definitely check out I like very much this ambient light behind those two screens it's look like the screens are floating in the air and that's uh, very very nice also this is the low beam full LED headlamps adaptive LED headlamps this is the low beam and this is the high beam the light it's white it's bright it's perfect and we will see in this video how it works also instead of the mirror of course you can use it as a mirror but you can use it also as a camera and that's really really helpful and we will see in the night how the camera is handling plus we can see those 360 degrees cameras how they manage in the nighttime and you can see right now here it's a little bit of light outside but still is doing very very good job I think those cameras around the car are very good resolution and quality and yeah they are really really good and also even this camera from up here it's quite quite nice anyway let me give you some uh, technical data about the model that I'm driving today and then we will start driving so it's the plug-in hybrid version all-wheel drive that means it comes with a 1.6 liter TGDI petrol engine four cylinders in line combined with one electric motor and a six-speed automatic transmission special for those hybrid system it comes with a 13.8 kilowatt hour battery and that allow the car to drive only in electric mode up to 100 km VLTP probably in real life between 50 to 100 something like that also 252 horsepower 265 newton meters very important the price of the car that I have with me 58,215 euro but the starting price for this plug-in hybrid is 56,430 euro by the way if you are in Bucharest in Romania definitely check out Neo Motors they are really nice they already have the car there so if you want to buy it if you want to test drive it if you want to see it definitely check them out also they have the latest model from Hyundai 
if you tell them that you come from me you can get also a nice discount so definitely check them out also top speed 180 km per hour 9.3 seconds 0 to 100 the fuel tank capacity 47 liters 11.6 meter is the turning circle and the weight of the car 2063 kilograms co2 emission 38 grams and the car come with independent type mcpherson suspension and independent multi-link rear suspension so those are the most important technical data also up here you have some led light so you can see you can illuminate the front end i really like that this light here it's crazy powerful so you can see uh, very very clear what's happening and what it is around here in the front now i just adjust the seats electrically and let's drive the car i want to also reset the consumption before we start driving you can have also different views here on the screen the the sad thing is the fact that we do not have the we do not have the the battery full it's actually an empty battery so we drive a plug-in hybrid with an empty battery so the consumption should be a little bit higher i will drive also with climatic system turn on on level one all the way low and we will drive in echo mode but every time you change the driving mode the ambient inside the car will change as well so you have the my drive which yeah let me close this and you can see a little bit better also the ambient you have the my drive we can, you can which you can configure it you have the echo mode which is kind of a nice beautiful this is my favorite color it looks really amazing it's a green bluish color and then you have the sport mode which everything turned to red so we will try all driving modes this this red it's better for the night I think it fit better in the nighttime but even this one look really really good anyway let's drive it here's the selector put it in drive and let's drive guys you can drive also with the camera turn on uh, but not the 360 degrees camera just the rear wide or front wide camera can be on while you're driving uh, at high speeds but at low speeds you can have also this, uh, this view and these cameras. Also, you can see this nice graphic with whatever happened with the energy in real time. Also, I noticed today that the car is very, very light and very easy to drive around in the city. And uh, it's very pleasant to drive it. It's very comfortable being uh, in the car. This is the low beam on right now. So you can see the way the lights are looking i will try to go on a darker streets so you can see a little bit better the way it looks uh, on the darker street also the sound insulation is quite good because we have double glass and i drive today a lot the car and i have to tell you that it's it's quite quite silent inside the cabin you start to hear a little bit of wind noise but over 120 km per hour because of the shape of the car but overall it's pretty silent it's pretty pleasant being in, inside uh, inside the car the brakes the pedal feel very smooth and as long as you have battery you will drive it in electric mode and it's so pleasant to drive such a big car in electric mode and to be honest even though it has a little over 2000 kilograms it didn't feel the car didn't feel so heavy it feels light it feels easy to drive but in the same time i drive it today on the highway and i was so surprised on how good and how how good was the stability of the car on the highway that was uh, very impressive for me otherwise um, you can see also the navigation here in the nighttime the way it looks I like the fact that the screens are dimming down on the nighttime and you can also dim it a little bit more but if you can play with this screen so you can make it much more brighter you can make also the ambient light much brighter but you can also um, dim it down from here so we'll go all the way down so if you drive in the night time will be extremely useful because it doesn't will not bother you to your eyes you know so that's that's so 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 important so you can play with it from from here also you have the head-up display which is directly on the windshield and I like very much the way it looks uh, I find it very very useful 
and it's very nice blend in there it didn't bother you like in other cars sometimes in some other cars it it seems to bother you also i noticed that this reverse camera uh, even in the night time uh, it's pretty clear so you can see in the back there very nice so it's not just a gimmicky camera you know it's a proper good quality camera otherwise even in eco mode you have more than enough power the car feels pretty light when you accelerate so um, i wouldn't worry about power or something like that it's it's very pleasant um, right now you can see that we have i, I just activated the automatic high beam so the car when we go on the darker street will kind of choose automatically when to use the high beam and the low beam otherwise i find the low beam pretty powerful and more than enough for most situations also from here you can choose the, the position of the light so you can choose to have it a little bit higher or lower so that's also very useful We can go around here and roundabouts is doing such a good job for such a big car you can turn it very very easy now I want to show you something really cool after this car pass uh, I want to show you something cool if you activate here the cruise control you can see it on the head of display you can see how nice it shows you on the head of display and also you can change the view in the middle there so you can have this driver assistance system view and it shows you the cars around you it shows you uh, the sensors and when the objects are it shows you also on the head of display but also on the cockpit and look how nice uh, it looks it's really interesting and in the nighttime man driving on the highway it's so pleasant it's the, the comfort in the car the suspensions the ambient in the car in the nighttime it's lovely I have to tell you I really really like it Uh, in the last years Hyundai really make wonderful car from my point of view we can switch in the center console this is the high beam by the way look how powerful is the high beam it's crazy powerful we can switch in the middle to see the the graphic with the energy to see what happened with the energy look when you turn on the high beam it's extremely powerful it's a bright white light which illuminate the, the road ahead in a, such a nice way they are almost they are not matrix LED headlamps they are just adaptive they will choose to go high beam or low beam automatically but uh, they are bright they are good they are good enough to to use it on a darker street so from this point of view uh, I say they are quite quite good I don't know the, the more I drive the car the, the better I feel the more I feel the high quality the hybrid system I said that also in my test drive video on the daytime and I have to tell you the hybrid system it's so good it's extremely good the transition between electric and petrol it's great it's smooth and also the transition between regenerative brake and physical brakes it's really good without sounds without any feeling the engine it's quite well insulated there so you don't feel too many vibration or too much sound and I, I definitely feel like this uh, system have a good quality so uh, yeah it's not bad. these guys they fight there but yeah let's get back to to what we are talking about so you can see now I just adjust the lights a little bit higher so I have a little bit better visibility
right now we are driving in electric mode because the car just regenerate a little bit of energy so when you don't have energy in the battery or you don't have the chance to charge it the car will actually actually act like a full hybrid system you can get this santa fe also with a hybrid uh, full hybrid system as a version which i recommend for the people that doesn't have the chance or opportunity to charge the car at home or somewhere daily or every two days then will make more sense to go the full hybrid but uh, for those of you that can charge the car somewhere daily i think the plug-in hybrid make a lot of sense suspension wise i think the car is doing uh, a very good job feels really good quality Now if we switch to sport mode you can see that everything turned to red and you can see right now it's I think this red for the night it's much more pleasant to the eyes. Ah and by the way I forget about the blind spot view monitoring when you turn the signals I think you already know this system uh, from uh, all other Hyundai cars. Uh, when you turn the signal you can see the camera the same as you will see on a uh, mirror here and it's also wow it's also pretty good in the nighttime I didn't expect that I wouldn't expect to be so good in the night usually cameras tend to tend to react not so good in the nighttime but this camera wow it's doing great so I have a good visibility even here where the light is not so visible here in the roundabout it's pretty fine uh, the car is doing really good it's also really easy to control those functions the climatic system and all the functions here because they are pretty well positioned. I really like the way they position it. Man, I hate those holes in the uh, in the roads. They never fix it. <laughs> that's that's really really bad. Not that the suspensions are not good, but I just hate in general the the bad roads and holes and stuff like that. Now here is the supreme test. This street is, is the, the history. Here they should test the suspensions of the car over those railways. There. Man, and here you can hear. It's good that I can hear the way they sound. And they sound really good quality. And they feel also pretty comfy not extremely comfortable because they manage to set up the car in such a way that when you're going on the highway at high speeds the car is managing to do a really well it has very good stability so they kind of set up the suspension somewhere around 55 comfort and 45 um, stiffness or sportivity and the car it's, it's really well set up I don't know the guys the engineers from Hyundai make such a good job with the cars setting up the, the cars the suspension and everything it's it's really a well-built car and let's keep in mind it's around its starting price around 52,000 euro and it can go up to 60,000 euro but phew, this car you can get it at in seven seats five seats like I have here um, you have a lot of space technology it's kind of a top of the range when it comes to Hyundai so they try their best to make a wonderful car and no doubt no doubt this car it's extremely extremely um, good 
and they have also extensive warranty so you are covered for I think five years if I remember well and also the lights I don't know if you can see it right now but it's the high beam and this the low beam the lights are quite powerful quite quite powerful it's kind of hard to find in the city a completely completely dark street and even if even if you go outside the city will be also still hard to find a street where it's completely dark so I'll just try my best to go around here so you can see a little bit better the low beam and this is the high beam this is the way it looks it's pretty powerful I tell you you should you should test it but uh, the light is powerful enough changing the driving modes let's go back to echo mode I like this man I like this bluish green so much I think it's wonderful you can activate also the cameras while you're driving and you can also activate the front camera and the front camera will help you go through those little small tight spaces around here so if you want to go between those spaces you can do it like that and here it's a little bit dark so I told you we can go on some dark street so you can see a little bit better look, look how powerful is the light oh boy it's crazy crazy powerful and here if we go like this you can see the way it looks and this is the high beam wow it's crazy crazy good it's really really good and if we go right here in the reverse right now you can see how the cameras look like and also the camera up here they are still good even though here it's pretty dark they are still doing a great job So we can park it around here for a while and we can end up this video, put it in park just like that and turn on the lights. So that was all guys. Let's see the consumption we have like current trip 6.5 liter. Oh my God, this is good. This is really good to be honest, better than I was expected. So for a plug-in hybrid heavy over 2000 kilograms, without battery pff, it's pretty good anyway check out the test drive video also if you want to see how much consumption i get in high traffic and high speed on the highway and not perfect condition like now but yeah guys i hope the video was useful i hope you get some useful information from here i really appreciate that you're watching my videos if you want to see the car by the way if you're in romania and bucharest definitely check out neo motors i'll leave the link in the description also on the screen you can test it you can see it you can buy it because they are really nice and they have some discounts right now so definitely if you say that you're coming from me you can get a, a nice discount so thank you very much for watching my videos stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.